What's up, you guys? It's your boy to the K, and I just got done watching a video by Shane Dawson. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm very, very late, but I haven't watched Shane Dawson in a long time. I just started watching it again, and I saw this video. Basically, and it's coming out video at first. I thought it was a joke. Then I looked at the comments, and so that it was serious so I watched the video and I just wanted to say I'm glad that she finally came out because I didn't assume that she was already in terms of who you was I already thought you really I already knew you were bisexual when I first saw your videos or not the first time I saw your video but as I got to watch you over the years, yeah, I realized you were bisexual, but um, it's, I was assuming that you already knew who you was, so, and I never knew you were going through those problems, because I know those are difficult problems to go through, because when you're not being who you are, you're hurting yourself. When you're not doing what you want to do, you're hurting yourself. When you put yourself in situations where you're unhappy, you're hurting yourself. And I can understand the pain of going through trying to deny who you are. I can understand the pain. I may not. I may not be able to relate 100% because I'm a straight and I may not be able to come to know how a lot of you people who are gay or bisexual or transgender or whatever the case may be are thinking and I just want to say you got to be yourself. At the end of the day, excuse me, sorry. At the end of the day, you gotta please yourself, be yourself, because at the end of the day, no one is gonna make you happy if you're not already happy. You know, a person can make you stronger, but at the same time, if you're not strong enough to stand on your own two feet, you will always fall, hit your face every time. Somebody can pull you back up, but the Lord doesn't fall again if you're not strong enough to take take it on your own. You know? If you know what I mean, this I know that just sounds weird. I'm excited, you guys. Um, I was just thinking about uh, when my friend came out to me and told me he felt like he couldn't turn to nobody, like he couldn't honestly tell anybody how he felt. Cause me and him were like this, you guys. We were brothers, basically. And he, one day, after we went on with these two girls, bad, bad shit, though, you know. And later that, like, later that night after they left, he was like, bro, I just need to tell you this. My best friend, and I just have to tell somebody and it came out to me telling me man I'm gay I never really liked females I just felt like that's what I had to do to make people look at me normal normally great way to say it and it threw me through a loop you guys and I can understand like how hard it could be to tell people that you love that this who I am. I'm not what you want me to be, but this is me. I can relate to you guys so much, but at the same time, I would never fully understand what you people go through. You're gay people, bisexual people, lesbians, whatever you are, or wherever you are, I can never relate to what's going on with you in your life because I'm not in that situation. 
I can understand because I've been in a somewhat situation where I wasn't being myself. I remember when I was in high school, I've been in middle school, I was hurt so much. I just like, fuck it, I'm going to be what women want me to be. I was hurt by women so much. I was like, man, fuck it, I'm just going to treat women I didn't even want to be treated. Became the asshole that I thought girls were. Yeah, it worked. But at the end of the day, I was hurting myself. I was becoming a man that I wasn't. It took my best friend to snap me out of that shit. Another best friend, I thought I was talking about who came out to me, but it took my best friend to realize that that was me. I could be better than what I was being. And I'm just telling you guys, you have to be yourself. If not for people you love, for you, but at the end of the day, you have to make you happy. You can't go around feeling disappointed and sad and depressed and putting yourself down because you are scared of who you are. Don't be scared of who you are. Be you. Because at the end of the day, nobody is going to make you truly happy if you hide hiding who you are. Not a woman, not a man, not a whatever. If you want to change the transgender, nothing can make you happy but you. Yes, yeah, someone can make you happier, make you stronger, but you already have to be strong. You have to already be happy. You have to be basically halfway there, you know? And I applaud Shane Dawson for coming out. Like I said, I assume that he already knew who he was. I assume that he already knew that he was bisexual. I assume that he's already been at terms. But when truly the fact was, he wasn't. And it took a toll on him, making him depressed. Which I clearly understand because you're not being who you are. You're going to be depressed. You're going to be hurt. You're going to basically feel a certain way because yes, you're in pain, you're trying to deal with this pain somehow, some way and I applaud you Shane Dawson for coming out and I hope you inspire more people to come out and be strong people and I'm making this video to basically say be who you are say what you want to say don't be scared of who you are at the end of the day, you have to be happy. So peace and love to you guys, as always. And don't forget to be yourself. Deuces. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit me up on my social media sites and right over here, guys. Peace and love. Deuces.